Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to show you how to collect all the craftable weapons for the Fontaine location. So you can flex your F2P God status. First, make your way to the blacksmith. Just teleport down. Now you'll be needing a lot of materials to get these blueprints. I'll show you the location of each of them. Now to get these jellyfish looking thingy, first teleport to this location. It's underground. Climb up. And talk to this guy. He's gonna sell 10 of them. You can purchase them. And after that, just climb up this cliff, head up and talk to this guy who is fishing over here. S select the second dialogue. This is gonna give you a few more four of them now to collect the rest of them you need to go uh, underwater teleport to this location and just follow the video there's plenty of them over here If you need to find more, you can teleport to this location too and farm the rest of them. So the next item is this orange looking thingy, teleport over here and head down. There's a window over here, yep this girl. Talk to her and she's gonna sell a few of these foods. I would consider getting those flowers too because even those are required. Now teleport to this location and you're gonna find a lot of trees. Plenty of those fruits growing over here. The next item are these lotuses. Teleport over here to this uh, station. You're gonna find them to the side of these, side of this lake. There's plenty more on the other side too. Then come to this location. First, uh, Cross this river.
cross the river again and there's plenty more on this side too. Now it's time to get these flowers. We already got like 15 of these from the vendor that I showed you earlier in the video. There's another NPC over here that you can just talk to him and get a few more. So he sells like 10 of them. Then teleport to this location and just follow along this hill. Just keep following the video. I'm gonna fast forward it so I don't bore you to death. Teleport over here and you should find a few more. Now for the final item are these crystals. They are kind of a pain to farm. It helps if you have like someone like Ning Guang in your team that's gonna show you the location of those ores on the map. First you need to hit this guy and absorb his um, ability. Without it you cannot mine underwater. Now you can press your skill button and mine these crystals. Since I have Ningguang, it kind of makes things easy for me. I'm just gonna fast forward this video. You can come to this location to get a few more. Then teleport over here. There are a few of these that you can farm that's on land. Again, I'm gonna fast forward the video. This is why I hate farming in Genshin.
Hmm, I think we are about done. Let me check how many we have. 52. We only need like 50 of them. Now we can go back to the blacksmith and rob her. Well, not rob her. We are buying it. Not that I'm gonna use any of these weapons. <laughs> Alright, that was all of it. I hope this video was helpful. Yeah, don't subscribe. I make shit videos anyway. <laughs>